Hi everyone! Would you like to find out how to turn this into this with a few simple steps? Stick around! everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers and today we're going to talk about splitting designs and letters. Uh, they're easy once you know the tools um, and how to use them. So we are going to be splitting this particular design which is right here and that's the finished design but I'll go ahead and start it out for you. This is what it looks like to start with and the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to change my grid size and uh, so I'm going to come up here to my uh, setup panel click on my grid come down here to my divisions and put it at one just because I like to work with uh, even numbers and all those lines kind of get confusing after a while I'm also going to turn off my cut border and my print border again because of all the extra little designs in there now, as I said, I like to work with uh, nice even numbers. So I'm going to click on the design, come over here to my scale tool, lock the lock, and I am going to put in 10 inches. And for the height, I'm going to go ahead and just resize it and make it 10 inches as well. And come over here to my align tool and center everything to the page. And if you look, everything looks like it is perfectly centered. Okay, there we go, the circle, and it looks like it's perfectly centered to me. Now for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and make it a little bit lighter so uh, I can show you what's going on and not have the design uh, overpower what we're doing. So there we go, I'm going to make it lighter. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is decide how wide I want this um, space in the center and I decided that I want to have it at two inches so this is 10 inches and I want that at two so I'm going to come over here to my drawing tools and uh, click on the draw a rectangle box and I'm going to draw a box doesn't matter what size right now just draw a box it kind of goes over everything here and select it and we are going to make it a five point box You'll see why here in a second. I am going to make sure that the box is now 10 by 2. So to do that, I come up here to my scale tool. Make sure this is unlocked because this is a hand-drawn tool. And if I put it on lock, uh, the aspect ratio will be off. We want it to be exact. So I want it to be 10 inches because I made the design 10 inches. I want to make the height 2 inches. And then I'm going to center the box to the page and that because I centered the design is centered on the design. Now the reason that I make it five points is because if you look at the lines on the design it is about the same as the lines on the design so it's just a symmetrical uh, look. So go ahead and center it to the page again. Everything is centered and centered right highlight everything center and center. Okay, everything is centered. Center is good on this one. Now we're going to highlight it and we're going to use our replicate tool. So come over here to the uh, sidebar, click on replicate, and we're going to replicate one above. Click on it again and we're going to replicate one below. And let me make this one here a different color so you can see the difference. And I want that center bar here to be about a quarter of an inch. So to do that, oops, that's a future. We'll see that in one in a minute. What I'm going to do is click on this, come back over here to our transform window. And instead of trying to resize everything um, ourselves, let the computer tools do it for you. Click on the scale window. Un check the box because we want the box to stay at 10 inches we just want the height to be at a quarter of an inch so 0 0.1 0 0.25 hit enter same here 
0.25, hit enter. Let me zoom in a little bit here, show you what I'm going to do next. Click on that black bar and bring it down. Just use your down key and bring it down. And so it is just past that red line. And I do that just to make sure it's overlapped. Now I could put it exact, but I want to make sure that it is over. So I'm going to make sure that it is right there and then go one, two, three, four, five. And come down here to this one. And that's five clicks of the down arrow. I'm going to bring it up. Oops, too far. And bring it down to right. It covers it. And then again, hit the down arrow. One, two, three, four, five. And that is going to, oops, I went the wrong way. I want it inside the box. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this black box and this black box are inside of this red box by just a touch. I am going to uh, draw a line or put a bounding box around the red box and touch and make sure that it catches the design. You know when it catches the design because it'll put a bounding box around the whole design. Come over to the uh, modify panel and click on subtract. Now you don't think it's done anything but it has. So if you look carefully now you've got all these bounding boxes around all these separate parts. Well you want to get rid of those. So we are going to first of all just highlight and drag across, select them, and delete them. And then you're left with these little teeny pieces that are uh, that were cut off and highlight them and delete them. And if you notice, there is a little bit of a uh, separation right here. And that's what I want. I want to make sure that this design is inside of this box. Okay? I don't want any uh, stray lines or any uneven lines. And this is one way just to make sure that everything is all in that box. And you'll see why here in a matter of highlight everything, right mouse click, and weld. And there we go. We have one solid design now. And get that close up so you can see it. We are going to let me get back a little bit. We are going to highlight everything. See, you gotta make sure you highlight everything and not just these two here, because if you highlight just these two here and then say weld, then when you go to move this design, those two pieces aren't going to be connected. So you have to make sure that you caught all the pieces of the design. So highlight and just highlight the entire design. Right mouse click and weld. And now we have one design that is ready to go. That's as simple as it is on how to split a design. So if I wanted to come over here and type in, whoops, type in Williams and choose a font. And we want to make sure that it is in the center. Oops, hit it, there we go. And make it the same color. And there we go. Now you can send this to your machine and you can cut this out all at once. So make every make sure that all of your lines on the outside are the same color and group it, highlight it all and group it. And now that is your design. You can adjust this design to any size that you wish. Um, I recommend no less than about four inches, just simply because of all of the uh, tight details here. Now something else that you can do here, let me ungroup 
and we can take this let me let me make this a different color we can actually make this bigger than uh, it was before and actually into those uh, lines and what will happen is you can weld it and it will become one and as you see there's two little pieces here that I didn't get so we're going to take those two little pieces out get rid of them so you can do it this way and uh, it will make it all one and um, just another bit of a unique design or let me go ahead and remove those that those two little dots again oops should have cut those earlier we're going to take and uh, center all of the designs and I'm going to make this a compound path now if I make this a compound path and then cut this out what will happen let's get this grid out of here so you can see it is this is what your design will end up with so you can do this it might be a good look it might not be a good look but the uh, best that I have found is if we just say weld I'm going back here so you can see this make it bigger highlight it again right mouse click and say weld and there is your finished design now if you want to cut Williams in a different color then all you have to do is type it in select your font And if you want to, you can spread this out just a little bit. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to the character spacing. And we're going to separate it out just a little bit more. Highlight it, center it again. And there you go. There is your design. So what you would want to do is you can go ahead and um, use this for reference. Take this. Let me back up a couple. Group them all. We are going to make this a, about a five inch design. So once it's all grouped and it's a five inch design, stick it up here in the corner of your mat, ungroup, pull this one out, and go ahead and cut this one out, and cut this one out, and uh, then go ahead and layer them back together uh, when you um, have them all cut. Now, I did go over in another video on how to layer designs. Um, go ahead and suggest you check that out. And if I can remember to stick a, a little link, I will go ahead and link that design to here. All right, everybody. This is how you make a, um, a design that is split. If you want to do a letter, you can do a letter. It doesn't matter if it's a design or if it's a little a letter. I do recommend though that if you do a letter that you do select a uh, font that is a little bit bolder that so you have a little bit more to work with. You work with it the exact same 
way, and I'm talking exact. So I am going to make the height 10 inches. I am going to center it and do the same thing. Let me go through this real quick, and I will fast forward and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so why didn't this weld together? Well, for the very simple reason that I told you before. You need to select everything. And it doesn't look like I selected everything when I went to weld. So if this should happen to you, again, highlight the two, right mouse click, and say weld, and that will fix the problem. And there you go. All right, everybody. That is how you go ahead and make uh, a split design and split letters. Very simple, easy to do. Um, if you have any questions on how to uh, do this, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.